welcome to our guide on Integrated Pest Management, or IPM. In the world of agriculture and pest control, IPM stands as a comprehensive and sustainable approach to managing pests while minimising risks to humans and the environment. It's important to remember that nature keeps a balance of life all on its own. When humans interact with an environment to grow food, we disrupt that naturally occurring balance. Let's face it, you're unlikely to find a row of carrots or broccoli while out on a bushwalk. IPM is a system gardeners can use to restore some of that balance before applying potentially harmful solutions. So, what exactly is Integrated Pest Management? Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, is a holistic approach to pest management that aims to prevent and control pests while minimizing the use of chemical pesticides. It's about finding the most effective and least harmful methods to manage pests. IPM recognizes that pests are a natural part of ecosystems and that simply eradicating them with chemicals can have negative consequences. There are several key stages in the IPM process. Threshold establishment. Determine how much pest damage you are willing to accept before taking action. A home gardener shouldn't be worried about a few spots on their fruit or a little slug damage on a cabbage leaf. Whereas, market gardeners who supply supermarkets will have much less tolerance. Monitoring and identification. The first step is to monitor pest populations and identify the specific pests present. This can involve regular scouting of fields or using traps and other monitoring devices. Prevention. Next, focus on preventing pests from becoming a problem in the first place. This might involve practices such as crop rotation, planting pest-resistant varieties, and maintaining healthy soil and plants. Control methods. When pest populations exceed the established thresholds, it's time to implement control measures. IPM emphasizes the use of non-chemical methods whenever possible, such as biological control with natural predators, traps, barriers, and cultural practices. Evaluation and adjustment. Finally, continually evaluate the effectiveness of the chosen methods and make adjustments as needed. This might involve trying different control tactics or fine-tuning existing practices. By integrating multiple pest management strategies and constantly adapting to changing conditions, integrated pest management offers a sustainable and environmentally friendly approach to managing pests.